So right now, it's after 10 o'clock in Manhattan. We're gonna see uh, if we can find any good trash. So, three things that I want to establish. Number one, where to go. Number two, when to go. Uh, and number three, is it safe? You know, you don't really hear about a lot of people digging through the trash anymore because of resources like uh, food stamps and things like food banks and community fridges, but you can't always rely on those. And sometimes you do have to go digging a little bit. Usually in most parts of New York City, most restaurants close around 10 p.m. So you head there right after 10. You ask if they're gonna throw any trash out. Uh, let me check out this Chipotle real quick. But the way that you know what's good and what's not good is you use all your senses, right? You use your eyes to examine what it is that you're looking at exactly. Here there's, you know, there's food, but it's a giant mess. You don't really want that. Try to, want to, f try to find something in a bag, you know? This looks like a lot of coffee grounds and stuff. Uh, you use your sense of smell, you use your nose, and uh, you know, just make sure nothing's spoiled. And you use your sense of taste. So let's see, right now this looks like a lot of recycling stuff, but these uh, ones that are labeled compost, they might have some something fruitful. Let's see, sometimes you might have to dig a little bit. What I like about these clear containers is you can see what you're getting. You don't have to feel around for it. Sometimes I've been known to you know, squish if I can feel for bagels or bananas and just get the general outline of a shape. That's very helpful for uh, when they have the black bags. You never want a bag that's too, too messy. Yeah, these are a little messy, unfortunately, but I'm sure if you dig hard enough, you'll find something good. All right, nice. We got some Krispy Kreme donuts. I'll only have one right now. Not particularly hungry. Leave the rest for whoever. You know, people have this, uh, this misconception that naturally you will get very sick and have lots of bacteria and you'll die. There's lots of rats running around spreading the plague. And in reality, what you're doing is you're getting the freshly thrown out stuff so you avoid any uh, accumulation of bacteria. And also, the other thing to look out for is just making sure you get things on the top layer because once they're on the bottom, that's when it starts getting a little, uh, a little dirtier. Containerized trash is ideal because, you know, like when they throw out trash in the bags, you can see it's touching the ground, right? But if it's in the containers, that's a pretty safe bet that it's not gonna be touching the floor. So I'm gonna have this uh, donut and let you know how it is. Mm. that's actually delicious. You kinda wanna go vegan-ish for this diet. Try to avoid any meat. Especially right now, because it's summertime, it gets kind of hot. You really don't want to deal with spoilage for the meat. That's one thing that might genuinely make you sick in the winter. Maybe the rules are a little different, but I still wouldn't really mess with meat that I found. Uh, cheese keeps a little longer. One thing that they don't tell you, you know, they always say don't leave food out for this many or that many hours. But in reality, food actually keeps a lot longer than you might think. Um, we just have those guidelines as a general safety thing. Obviously it's not going to be as good, but it won't necessarily kill you immediately or make you sick. The longer it's been left out, the greater of a chance there is of that though. Other piece of advice I'll give you is use a flashlight or a headlamp if you got one. Sometimes it's actually to your advantage if someone sees you digging through the trash, because sometimes they might feel bad, might uh, give you something that uh, they find, or some money, so. There can be a positive side to being seen, but people are concerned about also the legal implications of this. So trash is technically public property once it's out on the curb, but the thing is, restaurants and such, and stores will, um, 
kind of enforce their own rules where they don't really want you digging through there because they have this perception that you might eat something and you might get sick and you might sue them. So sometimes you do have to be careful with being seen, but one of the reasons that I mentioned you want to go to somewhere densely populated is you can just really move on uh, if someone does kick you out of somewhere and just go to somewhere else. But it's been very rare that I've been kicked out of a place uh, or just told, you know, don't do that or whatever. It's New York, kind of everyone has a live and let live mentality. You do cleaning, you have to take trash out all the time and sometimes things can get a little gross there. So really it's no more gross than putting trash into a trash receptacle except all you're really doing is the reverse of that. And uh, you know, use, use good judgment. That's really most of what there is to it. Usually if your eyes are open, you can find a lot of good stuff. I do this on my bike just because it's easier to go from place to place. Midtown Manhattan, I know has been a great place that people swear by in order to get food. A lot of tourists come there, spend their money, again, don't really finish their food or else, uh, you know, these high powered business people, they just don't have time and they gotta leave a half eaten plate out. I've never gotten like bacterially sick from trash food, but I think that's because I use pretty good judgment. So definitely not a game for uh, germaphobes. You will feel maybe your first time doing this a little self-conscious about digging through the trash, but eventually you just get over it. But I'm gonna tell you guys a secret, and the only reason I'm telling you guys this is because it hasn't quite been blown up yet. Number one thing to get is bagels. Go outside of a bagel shop a few hours after closing, and uh, they will throw out literally hundreds of bagels, which, especially at the boutique ones, they can charge upwards of $5 per bagel for. Absolutely, you don't need to pay that. Just wait till they close, grab a bunch, feed you and your homies, get some, buy some cream cheese or peanut butter for yourself and uh, you'll have a pretty good meal. No. All right, we hit a little jackpot here by the compost sign. Flip that open, boom. 100 donuts right here. Your best practice is usually just to tie the bag shut when you're done after you've picked out what you want. Another set of donuts. Nice thing about Duncan too is I'm finally paying the price I deserve to pay for these donuts, which is absolutely nothing. There are certain apps that will let you get um, food that is about to be thrown out for a steeply discounted rate. I really like the mission that they're doing. I think it's great work, but uh, at the end of the day, sometimes you may not even have money for that. So if you are squeamish about getting food that's a little, um, older and you just want to get it straight from the restaurant for the peace of mind for yourself. There's also apps that basically they take produce that isn't uh, aesthetic enough for the shelves and will resell it to you for cheaper. It is still a form of commodifying the whole thing, I think, but you know, I would rather that exists than not. That's done. Okay, another uh, lovely find. Spinach and some sort of meat. Gotta give it the smell test. Yeah, still smells decent. Honestly, a lot of stuff that gets thrown out isn't even bad. It's just maybe past the expiration date or overstock and uh, they need to make more space for ordering more at the store. Sometimes there'll be like one tainted raspberry in a whole carton and that will make them throw the whole thing out because it's not up to consumer standards. So a lot of what you get, you know, you can just pluck out the bad parts and have whatever is the rest that you can find. Or like in the case of the donuts or bagels, it's really just overstock. 
sometimes you'll see perfectly nice normal things being thrown out. If I played golf this would mean something to me, but seeing as I don't, I don't really have a use for this. Sometimes residential uh, neighborhoods are good for you know, sort of high-end stuff that gets thrown out, guitar cases, golf cases, furniture, clothing, things like that. So then the question is, why would you do this? And there's a couple answers. One, uh, you're broke. <laughs> so before you go around accusing me of poverty tourism or whatever other bullshit, keep in mind I literally had zero dollars about less than a week ago, and this was my only option. Uh, also, if you're out late, you know, there's not going to be food banks or social services or things like that that are open. Sometimes it's easier just to throw something out than go through the process of trying to sell it or find an owner, honestly. So, in that way, I kind of get it from the other side, too. Just to recap, uh, go right as places close learn what spots generally throw out the most good trash at any given time and have your regular spots try to stick to restaurant trash rather than public trash although you can find good things in both certain spots like supermarkets pharmacies bakeries pizzerias tend to throw out more trash than others. Pick stuff from the top of the trash. Use your uh, use your eyes. Use your nose. Um, use your mouth if you're so inclined, and use your ears too. Sometimes you can shake things around and rattle them, and you can tell does this consist of mostly paper or plastics, or is it something else? Oh, I just found something good. Good. Oh, this looks great. All right, I'm taking this back and calling it a night because I don't know if I'll find anything better than that. You got your mashed potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, uh, looks like breaded chicken. And it's all packaged. Seems pretty fresh still. I don't know, is there a grand lesson to end on? Not sure. I think I should end with the idea that I've been thinking of today, which is if you're not happy, with nothing, then suddenly making a lot of money or getting a lot of success isn't going to make you happy. And I will say, I have been pretty happy in moments when I've had the least. At least, hopefully, you'll have some advice that will help you survive. Have a good night.